Hey guys, so this video is basically me expressing my thoughts as to what happened with the Honey Badgers and why they were kicked out of the Calgary Expo in Canada. And the only thing that I could actually <laughs> put into words as to what is going through my head right now is what the fuck? So as we all know, the Honey Badgers basically set up a booth at a Calgary Expo so that they could actively meet their um, patrons who helped raise $10,000 so that they could actually go to this expo as well as, um, you know, meet their audience that might not be the patron but might like to meet the Honey Badgers and ask some questions. So that was pretty cool on the Honey Badger's part. But as you know, they're at a convention, so why not go and see what else is on besides just sit there and go and twiddle their thumbs, you know? So, forgive me, uh, I don't remember who went to the panel, but I, I know that two of them went to a panel and it was about comics, and as we all know, there are several of the Honey Badgers who write comics, so it was a perfect subject for them. And this is where everybody's kind of narrowed it down as to why they were kicked out. And it was basically one of the honey badgers saying that they don't agree with feminism. And possibly because also that they were a men's rights activist, but that they don't agree with feminism because feminism is a harmful narrative not only towards men but also towards women because it promotes the idea of women being victims and men always being the perpetrator. Now, Monday Matt and the Honey Badgers uh, full panel discussion in full, the links will be down in the description, but in both um, videos you can hear that there is nothing that any sane person would consider harassment. They're having a normal discussion. They are having a very polite discussion. Yes, there are things that both the feminist uh, or the panel member and the honey badger disagree on, but there are also many things that they did agree on. There was no screaming. There was no hateful language involved. There was uh, nothing bad of anything that we could hear. Now, admittedly, it's an audio file. We can't see what happened because there was no visual to it. So maybe what has been considered harassment happened of what we couldn't see. So maybe one of the honey badgers smiled at the wrong person. Because as we know, smiling is now considered harassment. Ugh. Or maybe Karen flipped somebody off, I'm not sure. But from what we could hear, there was nothing that, was co that could be construed or considered harassment. It was a very polite discussion. And many people have actually put it down to because they don't agree with feminism and it's a different opinion, that's why they were kicked out because they had a different opinion from the freaking SJWs, from the freaking feminists. So it was compromising their safe spaces. And if so, I don't give a fuck about safe spaces. It, Freedom of speech is allowing people to have different opinions and allowing discussion to happen. You know, this is how discourse is done, how debates are done. You, but, I don't know, this is like a mega echo chamber. I'd be, and because the honey badgers are not part of that echo chamber, they were kicked out. Another reason that people are saying they were kicked out is because they had posters. Ah, but it's always on the posters. Not just the, the cute little honey badgers that they have, but also Gamergate! And as we all know, SJWs and feminists hate Gamergate. Not all feminists and SJWs, uh, I must say that, but the majority do. Um, but, yeah, the, the, it had the Gamergate logo, uh, and it was like... That again is the reason why that they had uh, or had been asked to leave because they had the Gabergate logo and many people don't like Gabergate. Which, if it is, again, that is just fucked up. And recently, the 
uh, Calgary Expo tweeted out that uh, nobody was bullied into leaving, that they were simply asked to leave. Um, because they wanted to provide a safe space for everybody. Well, if can we give up on these freaking safe spaces? Because they provide nothing. They basically have the same freaking opinion being echoed round the same freaking place without discussion or discourse. And the honey badgers were there being very polite, being just there to meet the freaking fans. And now they can't. They have to... Uh, look at another venue to meet the fans, you know, to so that they don't disappoint the patrons. Which I think, I think, good on you, Honey Badgers, for actually uh, not giving up. But Calgary Expo, you freaking idiots! It's the only thing I can say. I feel really sorry for the Honey Badgers, but. I do believe that the Honey Badgers should fight back against the decision. At least find something that they can sue Calgary Expo on. That, that's my best advice. Just what's happened is fucked up and it shouldn't have happened because it's all under free speech. Just because of, of these safe spaces that have been going on at, at the moment, I swear. Because these safe spaces, society is going into, into the freaking gutter. See if we're going beyond the gutter. It's going into the sewers. So that that's my thoughts, guys. I I just think that it's all fucked up. I don't believe it should have happened. And honey badgers, just keep on doing what you're doing because you are amazing people. But I will keep listening because again, amazing people. So bye guys.